Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for February. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. We're just going to see whatever comes up. You know I focus on love, so it is what it is, right? Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we got for February? Keep in mind that this may not resonate until the end of February, the middle of February, whenever you watch it, or later, or whatever. Come back and watch it if it doesn't resonate at this very moment. <laughs> oh, how'd you like that laugh? Go back and listen to it again. Oh my goodness. Yikes. That's all I can say. Somebody's dealing with a devil. <laughs> either it's you or, you know, this is who you're dealing with. Or, you know, there's definitely some... Uh, something going on here okay there's something going on and it, there's a definitely um i'm trying to find the best words okay it's like all of a sudden my i've gone blank i can't even speak it's like unspeakable <laughs> i don't know what it is um yikes I, I i've gone blank i mean my 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 head is completely gone blank it's like you can't even think it's un it's like at a complete loss for words um, lost? There's some sort of addiction or bondage here, you know? Need? Desire? You know, and you guys are coming up as the emperor quite a bit. Quite a bit. You are. I've seen that for a while now. In complete control, right? It's like being in complete control. That's where you're at. If you are the female watching this, be careful. Be careful. Because you have a very dominant male. <laughs> And maybe you don't want to be careful because the attraction is out of this world, whatever it is. But, you know, is it is it is it love or is it lust? Okay, because it's like somebody could be coming to sweep you off their your feet, you know, with a shitload of charm. This person is very experienced, very wise. You know, and it's almost like they're being driven. They're being driven by hidden desires. Look at the way this card is looking down at him. I mean, it almost looks eerie. Take a look at that devil card looking down at that emperor. I mean, it, it just, he looks angry. He's like, I don't know, but that's a scary situation. Um... Now, somebody here could be dealing with two people, okay? Because we have a Capricorn and an Aries. And, you know, just saying. This one doesn't, it looks like I'm going to get you. And it really does. I mean, the look on this, the devil's face, it's like, I'm going to get you. And this one is like, he thinks he's in complete control. So, there could be some power struggles here, put it that way. You may be dealing with a very strong individual. So you've met your match, okay? You have met your match. And that's what it looks like to me. What am I doing? Showing you guys the freaking wall? What did it do? It'll go up? Like that? To show you the flowers? Is that what it did? It went right to the flowers? Imagine that. That's, that's, you know, what two flowers are. You could call that two cups on one of the decks, right? I was just saying, you met your match. 
you met your match with the right, right here. And that I just brought up to those two flowers. Unbelievable, right? <laughs> so anyway, we're going to zoom that back out. I can't wait to watch this. I don't even remember doing that, how that happened. I don't even know how it got on the flowers. But I'm going to rewatch that and figure that one out. Um, oh my goodness. Wow. And this is, uh, this is like an unexpected choice here. An unexpected choice in love. You may feel like this person has come to sweep you off your feet. This is too good to be true. And this person may be, may be really being, being very, very generous. We have somebody here that is being very generous with their time, their, their loving care, their words. And you're, you're probably like, what, what, the, what, what is this? What is this? You know, it looks like you may actually end up turning it down or trying to shut it down. Like trying to shut it down because you think it's too good to be true. <laughs> you do. You think it's too good to be true. Or if somebody does, somebody in this dynamic really feels like this is too good to be true. But somebody wants a commitment and this could lead to happiness. This is a connection that is... Okay, I can't make this shit up. I put it on the flowers for some reason. And then we got this connection. And we got this. This is a connection. And if you watch the January reading, this is a connection that is... Uh, um, it's like a life partner kind of thing. Okay, this is something that is divinely orchestrated. Okay, it's going to bring peace to your life. You guys were meant to come together. You were. It's perfect. Okay, it is. It's easy. It's um, scary. And, um, you know, now you got to make some sort of choice. So you got to make some sort of decision. And this has happened unexpectedly because it's like this person isn't your usual type. It's not what you thought. It's not what you thought. It's not, doesn't, you know, doesn't fit the description. And therefore you're trapped. You're stuck and you're, you're trying to protect yourself from this partnership because it doesn't really match up. You know, it's like it's not, something isn't right. Something is, is making you feel like you can't let this person in you know you can't let this person you gotta you gotta use your you gotta keep your power you gotta be in control what the hell because we have the control there's definitely some struggles here there's some struggling here because it's like two people have an opportunity to definitely come together but it feels like one person is just afraid you know stuck stuck in their thoughts about is this too good to be true insecurities absolutely they've been left out in the cold whoever it is that you're dealing with or whether it's you or the person you're dealing with has been left out in the cold to fend for themselves and it's like now you know they want to be happy and they can see that this could make it happy but it's like they're still trying to keep things under control I gotta keep things under control I wanna keep uh, keep myself poised and uh, whoever you're dealing with is trying to control themselves. They're trying to control themselves. They protect themselves though too. They're trying to make sure that they get what they deserve. They're making, they're being very, very logical, very, very wise. You know, they can see that this is a part, they're looking down at this partnership. They, whoever you're dealing with sees, and you, both of you are. Both of you are looking down that this could be, make, we could be really, really happy together. But there's some sort of insecurities that are keeping somebody stuck in their thoughts and their mind about opening their heart fully you know something has is keeping this person from opening their heart fully but this is a connection that is beautiful okay it's a beautiful 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 connection but somebody is still trapped for some reason trapped in their thoughts oh god a lot of mental anguish going on here
a lot of negative thinking going on. Somebody is losing sleep, very worried, very worried about opening their heart, really worried about getting their heart involved. Absolutely. All right, so yeah, we have somebody here. Could be a Taurus or a Libra, could be a Gemini, I don't know who it is. We have somebody here that is definitely not wanting to deal with any pain. I don't want to deal with any pain, no way, no how. So it's like, you know, and then, it's, you know, it's like, Maybe maybe one person wants to have children and the other one doesn't. You know, I don't want I don't want to have children or I don't want to raise children anymore or uh, not ready for children. Um, maybe there's even been a loss of a child that has caused this person a lot of mental anguish. I don't know. Somebody um, is not able to love unconditionally at this time. And it's because they, they have lack of self-esteem and lack of self-worth. So you're dealing with a person that hasn't completely dealt with their own pain. And therefore, they, they're they really still suffering. Who, somebody, you're dealing with somebody who is real, really still suffering. Or it's you. Could be you or it could be the other person. I think it's the woman. I think it's the feminine that is doing the suffering, suffering here because this is where it is. And this feminine in this dynamic is afraid to open her heart. Even though this really is a perfect connection. She's afraid to uh, be left out in the cold again. You know, be, and, but there's an opportunity for these two. These two people have been brought together from heaven, seriously. Okay. And these are like lovebirds. I mean, it is. It's like meant, this is like. An opportunity it's unexpected because this person doesn't fit the description like I said and somebody's trying to hold back big time from their temptations it's like yes I want this I do want this and there's a lot of uh, sexual attraction but I got to keep things under wraps because that's who I am. But there's an opportunity for victory and success. And somebody is like really taking the lead. We got somebody really, really charging forward. Like, I'm not wasting any time. I, I'm not. This person is definitely the opposite of what you thought. And now you have to make this complex decision as to whether you're going to let go of the control. Can you let go of the control? Can can you? Because somebody wants to give. Somebody wants to help you to bring balance. Somebody wants, this is, you know, this is a person, these are both sixes that will help to bring balance and harmony to your life. But right now it's a time of indecision because it's like, do I want to let you? Do I want to let you take care of me? Do I want to let you take the lead to dominate? I, uh, or what? I mean, so I feel like, There's an opportunity for something to come together quite nicely. But somebody has to come out of that indecision and just go with the flow. Just go for it. Just go for it. Just go for it. But who I, it feels like the masculine is really charging forward. He's made the decision. He's made the decision that... You know, he wants this. He wants this marriage. He wants this commitment. You know, he sees the connection. And... This woman's putting up a fight. She's really, really, really putting up a fight. She is putting up a fight. There's no doubt. So, yeah, we have the female, the feminine that is putting up a fight, trying to defend herself. But it's time. It's time to, to change. It's time for this change. It's time for a new chapter. This is, this is, this is destiny, okay? The Wheel of Fortune is destiny. But it's also a card of free will. So we have this woman who has to decide if she's ready. Is she ready for this new chapter? Is she ready to let her guard down? Is she ready to step outside of this old state of mind that she has kept herself in? 
it looks like she's ready to. It does. It looks like she's ready to drop these burdens. And now's the time. Right now where she's in the process of making a decision in February whether she is ready to really let this go and accept a new opportunity. So I think that this month there's a feminine here that is releasing okay this feminine is releasing the past releasing the baggage becoming conscious again becoming um more emotionally available beginning to realize that you know i am worthy and she's starting to receive some sort of rewards in her life but there's still some sort of uh protection mode we have this woman who's really still trying to protect herself but she's She's making changes to close a chapter in her life, and she's being divinely guided. And I think that we have a wish that's being fulfilled. <laughs> we do. This is wish fulfillment. So we have a, a blessing. We have a blessing, and it's probably a blessing in disguise because it's not what you thought. It's not the wish. It's not exactly as you pictured it. That's the way I see it. But I think there's a wish being granted um, that is destined to be. For a woman that has been hurt and perhaps is trying to protect herself. And we have this masculine that is coming in. And this, these are both you, I think. You're taking on both of these energies. I feel like you, you, the, the, the masculine here is, is uh, taking the lead and just deciding, you know what, I'm going to take control. I'm going to marry you because this is marriage and this is a husband. I don't know what this is or... I'm going to um, protect you because this is protection as well. This is protection. This is protection. Protect you. So it, it, it really looks like we have a union here that is coming together that is a wish, a dream. Um, if if this this person, the, the feminine, looks like can let her guard down, can just just let this person help her. Just let this person help her. It's being called to listen to your intuition. This is part of the script, all of it. It's being brought to you from above. This connection is being brought to you from above. You have an opportunity to change your course right now. But that will involve releasing the pain of the past in trusting, believing, and letting go of your need to control and allowing, just allowing love to be. Just knowing that is what is meant to be will be. This is what you deserve. So this is like getting some sort of reward, whatever that is. I don't know. Um, pretty amazing, right there, Capricorn? I can't re wait to re-watch re this and see what happened with them flowers. Reflect and redirect your energy. Turning back isn't necessarily a failure. Sometimes it's the wisest thing you can do. If there's an area in your life where there's an impasse, the universe is telling you to use this as a time to reflect and redirect your energy in another way. Wisdom is knowing when to back down, turn around, and then let it go. There are times in life there is there are times in life to break through barriers and there are times to change direction. There are times to change direction. There is an area in your life regarding relationships, business, finances or health that need to be reevaluated. Perhaps a new route is needed. If you reach an impasse in life, instead of pro protesting that it's unfair or unwarranted, 
change your course. Do it quickly and easily. Instead of focusing on what's not working, focus on what can work and what steps are needed to create a different outcome. The wise one views an obstacle as if it's impassable. He immediately steps back and goes a different way. Therein dwells the sage's success. Whatever the obstacle in your life, you have learned what you needed to learn. Now back away and choose a different path. Very good message. Good luck.